Tiger Woods turned down $700 million to $800 million to join the golf, CEO Greg Norman says. Big Cat was not swayed by Live Golf's overtures. The rumors, it appears, were true. Tiger Woods was not only offered a king's ransom to leave the PGA Tour and join the golf, he turned down approximately three quarters of a million dollars to do so. Live Golf CEO Greg Norman confirmed this week on Fox News that Woods turned down somewhere in the neighborhood of $700 million or $800 million to flip the script on the PGA Tour. Only saying that the offer to Woods had been used on the United States. He was recently announced that Woods has cost a pressure to the billionaire, so he didn't necessarily need another $750 million. It's still an uncomfortable number to not only the offer to the billionaire, it also would have more than the career PGA Tour earnings by a healthy factor. Woods has made $120.9 million on the PGA Tour. All the other money he's earned has come from off course endorsements. It was smart of Liv to offer Woods this much money, and there's probably not a number too high that it wouldn't have been worth it for the league as long as its goal is still to append the PGA Tour and DP World Tour as the preeminent golf tour in the world. The players they need for that to happen, the Justin Thomases, Rory McIlroy, Jordan Spine, and Scotty Scheffler's, who are finalizing Woods. Even if Woods moving over to Liv didn't completely convince them to make the leap, it would at least make them think twice. Ever put much thought into taking the offer. When asked last month at the Open Championship by everyone moving to Lyft, he sounded perplexed by the idea, especially considering that the players currently don't get official world golf ranking awards, which might preclude them from playing in future major championships. The players who have chosen to go to the that some players will never, ever get a chance to play in a major championship, never get a chance to experience this right here, walk down the fairways at Augusta National. That, to me, I just don't understand it. The irony here is that Woods no longer needs OWGR points himself to play major championships. As a winner of all four majors, the 46-year-old is exempted to the Open of the PGA Championship until he's 60, and he's exempted to the Masters for life. Open exemption runs for another year, and he will almost certainly receive more exemptions from the USGA. But what these players are doing when they're in the market, what is the incentive to practice? What is it? What is the incentive to get out there and earn in the earth? You're just getting paid a lot of money up front and playing a few events and playing 54 holes. They're playing players and they're going to have all the tennis players that are going to